Today, the church remembers the feast of St. Mary, the mother of God. How will you mark and celebrate today? Honestly, I am personally partial to a nice donut or piece of cake as part of my religious observances. You're welcome to join me if you would like to. Mary has a special place in my heart. This probably started because I grew up at a church dedicated to her, St. Mary's in Caristel. As well, during my many summers spent working at the Sorrento Center, I would head across the highway every Sunday to attend the St. Mary's there. These two communities impacted and formed me deeply. However, it is more than just that, because there is a reason that so many things are named after her, why Christians of so many different stripes, flavors, and traditions are drawn to Mary, her story and witness. Mary's place in my heart has been cemented by learning more about her, hearing her story, being moved by her boldness, courage, and faith. However, I think that sometimes she is not portrayed this way, maybe because she makes people uncomfortable. Sometimes she is made out to be quiet, demure, and mild. But she cannot be contained or restrained. Like today in her response to the messenger of God, her bold words leap off the page. Every time I hear them, I sit up a little straighter. I feel fire in my heart. I feel convicted. Though she calls herself lowly, she also claims her blessedness, magnifying the Lord. With boldness, she claims the upside-down nature of how God works, how God's justice works, about how God's kingdom looks. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. At a time when there is so much inequality and injustice that seems to be growing, we need these words of Mary and her determined, hopeful vision. I hear in her words, the echoes of those who had come before her in the faith, the long tradition of strong, bold, courageous women throughout the scriptures whose words and actions and witnesses like Mary leap off the pages, shining out of a text written when the stories of women were not always celebrated, remembered, or told. Like Hannah and Hulda, Miriam, Shipra, Hua, Ruth and Naomi, Deborah, Esther, Sarah, and Hagar. I hear in her words the influence she must have had on her son, who spoke of the first being last and the last being first, who set a fire in the hearts of those who heard him proclaiming the radical news, the countercultural news, the upside down good news of the kingdom of God. Mary is an example for all of us, just a regular person who did incredible things. She shows us that we too can be faithful, we can be hopeful, we can be bold and courageous, just like her. And just like her, she shows us that we can partner with God in salvation history, holding, caring for, protecting, nurturing God when the divine became small, weak, and vulnerable. We too can be carriers and carers of Christ in ourselves and in the world. So let's celebrate today. Remember Mary, be inspired by her words and witness, and let's follow in her footsteps of calling out for true justice, magnifying the Lord, and being God-bearers in our lives. Oh, and if you feel so moved, feel free to have a piece of cake.
Amen.